Our next guest right now uh, in the in the studio is Macroact uh, Inc. Mar I'm sorry, Mar Marie Christine Kang. Uh, not even a hard name. Uh, so sorry, I tongue tripped over that. Uh, how are you doing today, Marie Christine? Oh, thank you. I'm very well. Yeah, I'm but, a little bit nervous having this oh. interview. I'm very oh, glad to have it. We're, we're just uh, the way I try to tell people is that. We are talking about you and what you're passionate about. So yeah, um, and it's great. Yeah, yeah. I mean that 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 is the most relaxing conversation in the world. Is somebody wanting to know what you're all about? So tell us, uh, real quick. Number one, is this your first CES? Uh, number yes. two, oh, fantastic! Welcome. I love the first timers. Last year was my first time. <laughs> Oh, what? Um, so, well, at least to attend, I've been like a budding CES with other shows that I work. So I've, I've walked through the floor, seen it, things like that. But uh, welcome to CES. Tell us everything that Macroac Inc. is all about and what brought you to be. Yeah, all right. Well, hello, I'm Marie. I am the CEO of Macroact, and we are an AI and robotics startup. And we are working on solutions to build autonomous robots. And behind this is our autonomous motion control solution, uh, which can basically train any kind of robot in a virtual environment to learn optimal movement via reinforcement learning to fulfill any specific tasks. And while well, we are here at CES to take the opportunity to introduce and show our AI-powered autonomous robot cat, MyCat, and the idea to create a companion robot cat came to us after evaluating the today's reality. And we see a huge increase in single households. Uh, for example, I guess in the USA, it's about 36 million in 2020. Mm. And yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't, all right. Yeah, it's, it's huge. And we see um, also an increase in, um, yeah, uh, on health issues with people like depression and loneliness, which seems to have a connection. And as well, uh, just to connect the dots, um, we see an increase in the pet markets. But on the downside, we also see an increase in the abandonment of um, companion animals. And with that in mind and the possibilities of today's tech before our eyes, we started to create MyCat as kind of an alternative for people who will want to take care of a pet, but out of their own reasons, cannot manage to raise one. Well, sure, especially whenever you're looking at elderly people who have perhaps had yeah. a companion animal for years um, yeah. and may not may not be able to maintain a, yes, a companion exactly. animal so much, like bending over to feed them, to clean up after them. Um, yes, they, exactly. even, even whenever you're talking about small dogs or a heavy cat, hey, man... <laughs> if they lean up on you wrong or try to get up on your lap, like they can knock you down as an elderly person, all kinds of things. So yes, all, all kinds of reasons. That's right. And well, I am a firm believer in technology and I think we should look to technology and see how can it be beneficial to humans and what sure. can we achieve. Yeah. And that, that is our starting point kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I mean, even the fact that I've got a, young child and uh we have an older cat we have a younger cat and yeah. uh he is presently going through the the motions of okay that you can't do with the cat so <laughs> to be able to program things in um instead of maybe a kid getting scratched by a live cat before you get a cat yeah. that kind yes, of stuff yes. you know to, yes. to train younger children how to behave with cat even even uh, people with learning disabilities, you know? Yes, yes, as you rightly say, I mean, there's a huge spectrum where it 
can be possible to um, interact with a robot cat instead of a real pet, as you said, for the elderly or for young children. It's even possible if um, you have a pet at home and you need something like a pet babysitter for it. Yep. Or um, there are kinds of, uh, I, I think uh, the possibilities are huge and our sure. part is to make sure that the technology just um, supports that. Well, and how long has this product been in development? Is it already available out on the market right now? Is it a Kickstarter campaign or? Yeah, it's great you ask. No, it's uh, not on the market right now. We are in prototype stage, but okay. we are ready to show it to the world now. And we are planning a Kickstarter, probably a Kickstarter campaign um, this year, uh, probably around fall. Okay. And yeah, so that's why we said, okay, we are kind of ready to go yeah. public. And that's, uh, yeah, we had the opportunity to kick it off here at uh, CS. And and what a perfect opportunity, you know, with <laughs> with places like Eureka Park, things like that. This really is an innovative and forward thinking uh, consumer product show. Yes, uh, Whereas it is. A, lot of, a lot of them are just like, hey, look at this new TV. It's really interesting to see some of the new technologies that are coming out like you guys with this uh, with this autonomous robot as a companion yes. animal. Yes, and for, for us, um, what's really important is the movement of the cat because um, we thought, okay, of course you can always pre-program things, but we wanted to follow the approach to let the robot or create an environment the robot can autonomously learn the best movement and that's why we created our own um, uh, autonomous motion control solution which wow. um, we, we trained my kit on and uh, it's of course it's still um, in progress and we are trying to optimize our approaches um, so far we are pretty um, content and happy with the outcome so far my cat yeah, it's nice, it's my kid. Okay, oh. just watch and tell me what you think. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, we put them both together just to see. <laughs> <laughs> and and interesting because if if you're a cat person, uh, even the even the motion that just happened between the two cats, where he came up and nuzzled the size of his head, side of its head, um, that is an utterly yes. natural cat reaction to another cat. Yeah, that's what 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 uh, we were thinking. Um, this bike kit, of course, um, has all these interactive uh, features, and um, she can estimate um, your emotions and is using face, voice, and emotion recognition for that. And oh, wow. she is basing on your interaction and emotion and her own um, emotions on how to react in a given situation. And that's it. It was pretty short, but I think you got cool. okay here we are yeah, that, is, <laughs> that is really neat and i can see a lot of applications for that before we let you go um yeah. the the one question that i know is on everybody's minds is are there laser eyes and will they kill cats if it has them? Or, or mice <laughs> will it kill mice i don't know if you have them? would that be a <laughs> <laughs> I that's know that's going to be in the comment here. thread somewhere, like, only if it catches mice. Um, so. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> let, let me get back to my team and um, <laughs> come up with a solution for that. <laughs> well, uh, thank you so much for taking your time. Uh, I hope oh, we put you so a little much. bit at ease with the interview. Uh, tell everybody where they can go to find out more about Macro Act Inc. Uh, and more about my cat. Yes, yeah, sure. Um, of course, you can find us under macroact.com. It's bad macroact, just.com. And of course, we are on social media everywhere, uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. We have a couple of videos provided there. Just um, go for macroact and you'll find it. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out of what I know is a very busy CES. Yes, for, it is. Uh, people, people making public launches. So congratulations on the big steps for you guys. I cannot wait until next year when we get to see a MyCat in person. Oh, yes. We are absolutely planning on do so. 
Maybe absolutely. then next, next time again. Sure. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you so you, much for your time. Absolutely. You have a great rest of digital CES. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that interview. And if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.